So guys, today we have this lead code medium level question, single element and assorted array. And this question has been asked in these companies, Amazon, Microsoft and Nvidia. And for this particular question, we will be learning four different approaches. So make sure to watch the reel till the end because the last approach is definitely going to blow your mind. The question says that we are given a sorted array in which every element is appearing twice, except one element that is appearing only once. And our task is to find that element. So let's see how we can do this using first approach. So in the first approach, we will be using a hash map. Here we will do two things. First, we will iterate over the array and while iterating, we will count the frequency of every element and store that frequency along with the element in the hash map. Okay, for example, I will iterate the array and I will be storing the frequencies like this. And after counting the frequencies, what I will be doing, I will just loop over the map and will check if there is any key that is having the value of one, I will simply return that. Okay. And that's how we have done the same thing in the code. Now coming to the second approach, the second approach is pairwise index checking because we know the array is sorted and the element will come in pairs. So what we will be doing, we will be iterating over the array and every time I will be increasing my counter by two. So for example, if, if in the first iteration I'm here, then in the second iteration, I will be at this position. Okay. Like this and wherever the first mismatch lies, that is going to be the answer. For example, I will start from here. I will check is this element equal to this element condition true. Okay. I will move ahead. Now I am here. Is this element equal to this element? Condition false. This is the mismatch. So this ith element is going to be my answer. And for this approach, we will be checking till here only, till the second last element only. And if there is no mismatch till the second last element, then the last element is going to be my answer because there might be a cases that we may not find any mismatch till the second last element. So in that case, this last element is going to be the answer. Now coming to the third approach, the third approach is very simple. We just need to use the properties of XOR. We know if you XOR any element with zero, you will get the number itself. And if you XOR the number with the same number, then you will get zero. So here we do the same thing. The duplicate element will cancel out each other and will give us zero. And at the last, we will only be having the single element. So that's how we have done the same thing here.